All right, welcome back to Below the Surface. We're back in Pensacola with high tide, and we are going after lionfish again. Still got the Reef Rangers lionfish tournament going on, and I'm trying to increase my odds of winning. And this trip, I think I'm gonna go up to tier number two, and I'm gonna get some sweet prizes. If you look at my zookeeper, I'm kind of missing something on it. When I came down, my spear got stuck in it. I had to take it all apart, and I didn't realize that the little thing that gets the lionfish off was positively buoyant and it floated away. But that's cool, because I'm gonna figure out how to dispatch these guys so they don't get out. I'm gonna use my dive knife. Now dive knives are not made for hurting wildlife. They're made to get you out of a bind if you get entangled. But today, I just gotta do what I gotta do. And it works a little bit, but it's not that great. As you'll see here in a few minutes, I have a couple that get out, but I get them back. There he goes. Look at him. Nope. You're not getting away today, buddy. Get back in my zookeeper. These pyramids are pretty good today. But we didn't only hit pyramids, we also went to the three mile bridge rubble. So when the last big hurricane came in, took out the three mile bridge, and they built a new one, they needed something to do with the old stuff. So they sunk it to the bottom of the gulf. And it's pretty cool, wait till you guys see it. It's almost like floating above the roadways. And that thing is loaded with fish. If you guys are divers, don't pass it up. If somebody says, let's go dive the old three mile bridge rubble, it's a pretty cool dive. Now here I am. I got one that's trying to get out. I gotta pinch him in there. Trying to be super careful. Because if these things come screaming out, there's a good chance that I can get one of those spines right in my squishy parts. And that wouldn't feel good. So even after all these guys are coming out to take out all these lionfish, look, there goes another one. He's out. Dang it, there went another one. I'm telling you guys, you really need those little uh, containment pieces in there. Anyways, as I was saying, with all the people that are coming out to get these lionfish, you wouldn't think that there'd still be this many out here, but there is, there's a ton of them. And on my thumbnail that I'm gonna use, you can see one of these lionfish has like three or four little fish in his mouth. So that's the real reason why we're out here trying to annihilate these suckers. Because they're tearing up our biodiversity that we have out here in the Gulf of Mexico. And there's no shortage of them on these pyramids. I think after this trip, I bumped myself up to 31st place with 84 lionfish altogether. Dang, look at that shockwave. Let's see that again. As for the competition, I got a long way to go to get to number one. I think that guy's got like a 1,200 lionfish taken. But the system's pretty cool. Check it out, Reef Rangers. It's put on by the FWC. And it doesn't take much to get to tier one and tier two. And you get some pretty sweet prizes. And they got a pretty cool little competition, some drawings. And then if you get to tier one, you also get to keep a couple extra spiny lobsters during the preseason. If you guys see this torch that I'm using, it's an orca torch. At a company off Amazon, I'm gonna leave their link in the description below. They sent me this dive light to test out and make a review on. Well, consider this my review. That thing's pretty dang sweet. I'm gonna make another video here too. The next one you'll see, I'll be diving in Vortex Springs with it. And it's pretty dang bright. It's an Orca Torch 2-in-1 dive light. It's got 1,000 lumens. It also has a 1,000 meter laser on it. It's a green laser. It's pretty cool in the dark. You can't really see it during the daytime, but you guys will see it in the next video where I'm in that cavern. It's pretty cool. But the light itself, it can run for an hour and 51 minutes, and it's pretty dang bright.
All right, so red snapper still in season. And I just seen one in this little pyramid come over right over the top. There he is. Watch this Orca Torch light him up. Swing and a miss. Golly. So what I did wrong there is I tried to get him from the top. He's a very skinny target when you go that way. If I would have just came down, laid down on the sand, went into one of those windows, I would have had a broadside shot on him. Would have been a heck of a lot easier. Lesson learned for next time. All right, so here's part of that bridge rubble. This section had a few lionfish on it. They're all hiding back here on this backside where the current wasn't getting some reprieve but they didn't know that I was coming down with my spear and I got them and I got him too rinse and repeat got him And this little guy, he thought he was gonna hide in this little corner down here. He just saw like six of his buddies get schwacked. I guess he uh, didn't hide good enough. Oh, he's trying to get away. Not today, lionfish. You know where you're going. I don't even have to say it, he knows where he's going. Look at him. He went in there. Get him, my zookeeper. Yeah, you got me. You guys knew I was going to say it. So if you guys are in the Pensacola area and you want to go get some lionfish, look up High Tide Charters. I'll leave their link in the description below too. Captain Dan, he runs a pretty tight ship, but he'll put you on the uh, on the pyramids and the bridge rubble that's loaded with these lionfish. They actually did pretty good during the Emerald Coast Open as well. As you can see, my zookeeper stickers, they're filling up. If you guys got any cool stickers, hit me up in my email. I might buy some from you, because I got to keep them growing. Cover that sucker up in some awesome swag. All right, so this is part of the three mile bridge rubble, the main parts of it. While you're going over the top of this stuff, it's actually like you're floating over the roadways. Super cool place to dive. There's a heck of a lot of nooks and crannies in this place. The other guys that I was spearfishing with, they were going after red snapper and stuff. They were just laying in the sand and waiting for these suckers to show up and they would be just running right into their spear. But here's an example of some of the cool fish that are just hanging out. Look at all those spade fish. We also saw some juvenile African pompano. Those things are pretty sweet. If you guys like this stuff, check out my last lionfish massacre video. It's right here on the left. And that's it. So don't forget, get you guys some diving gear. Head out to the Gulf, do some diving. We'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going up.